Let's go, season Denny last and welcome. In this video, what we're gonna be talking about is the toughness perk or focus, whichever one you like you like to particularly call it, and whether or not it should actually be returned in the next installment in Infinity Warfare. Because as we know with Black Ops 3, it did get taken out completely by Treyarch. Now, when it first actually came about, it was Treyarch that first actually implemented it. They actually put it in with the original Black Ops. Now, the way that you can actually have it was to uh, unlock the hardened perk, but then you had to then get unlock the perk pro version of that hardened perk to actually activate it now once you got the pro version it increased the damage of bullets against kill streaks and vehicles by 25 percent but then it reduced the effects of flinching when damaged by 80 percent now this become quite a bit of a big thing because straight away infinity war thought this is an absolutely fantastic idea let us stick this in modern warfare 3 but with modern warfare 3 they did change it up just a little bit they put focus they called it focus sorry and they changed it to a weapon proficiency now as we remember when you actually play modern warfare 3 you created your class you had a certain degree of certain um, weapon proficiencies that you can actually choose from two attachments and so forth this probably was definitely a lot of people's favorite because it reduced the flinch by 50% in this particular game then moving on forward that trout decided to keep with the actual um, toughness perk straight away. And what they did this time was they put it in a whole little category by itself. A whole perk that you could just basically select by yourself. And this time when you actually got shot, it reduced your flinching by 75%. So they toned it down a little bit from 85 down to 75%. But they actually made it just a perk on its own. And they just got rid of the pro versions completely. Then moving on to the next one. And that is going to be Call of Duty Ghosts. Now with Call of Duty Ghosts. It did get changed up as we already know. Now, for me personally, I did not like the perk system in Call of Duty Ghosts whatsoever. It's a little bit too chaotic. It's a little bit too much with all the collecting all the points and what that else. A lot of people liked it. Personally, for me, it wasn't for me. But what they did do was they changed the focus proficiency into an actual perk. So you could actually then select that and then you could use that straight away again. But obviously, that counted as one of your perks. But then moving on to Advanced Warfare, Advanced Warfare. Warfare decided that toughness was an absolute fantastic way to go and they kept with it as well now personally through all those particular titles I used it all the time I must admit as soon as I got wise to it as soon as I started playing with it I could not let it go I really really couldn't and maybe that is why Treyarch jumped on the bandwagon and said it's one of those crunch perks that we've had with a few little things before that they've taken out of the game did I think it was overpowered not really whatsoever I really really didn't feel that toughness was overpowered or anything else like that I mean I could run without toughness and still do quite well personally for me it did very much help when you have people there trying to shoot at you obviously that way you're able then to turn and try and take your shot and you know get your shot back on and trying to down them before you actually got killed yourself so in that regards it certainly did help you out but for me you didn't 100% need it I know a lot of people that ran without it and did very very well indeed so personally for me it didn't it wasn't overpowered it wasn't like stopping out pro where you got extra bullet damage on people or anything else like that. I didn't think it was anything crazy like that but saying that obviously try decided that you know they wanted to let this go they wanted to add the flinch into the game now the flinch in Black Ops 3, especially in the beta, it was a little bit too much. And I'm glad they actually did the beta to try and tinker with it a little bit. Obviously, I've got used to it now in Black Ops 3. I mean, depending on what type of damage weapons that's shooting at you, it does regards to how much that you are going to be flinching. So, sometimes I find it quite frustrating still. I Even though I'm used to it, I don't particularly like it. Now, a lot of people say it's a little bit more realistic because you're being shot up. But let's be honest, this is Call of Duty Online. This is far from realism as you could possibly get understand it with battlefield or something like that i can understand that kind of view but with call of duty it's not really a much of a you know a realistic type of game so for me personally i'd love to see this come back and do away with the flinch i mean straight away i know a lot of people will be riding with it a lot of people will be sticking it on but i really do hope that infinity war do actually bring this particular thing back but anyway guys leave it in the comment section below exactly what you're thinking about this It'd be very very interesting to see different people's points of view but coming up on my screen now is my subscribe button if you haven't already done so make sure you're jumping on that and guys if you drop a like that'd be absolutely amazing this is nitty last and i'll catch you later